Well, Denver Film is holding its 45th film festival. Really exciting time for Colorado's film industry and everyone that enjoys it so much. Joining me now is Kevin Smith, CEO of Denver Film. Kevin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, we really appreciate it so much. Now, one of the best parts of the Denver Film Festival, of course, is the red carpet events. Everyone looks forward to these. So how many are you going to have this year and who can we expect to see them? This year we will have four red carpet events at the beauty, beautiful Ellie Calkins Opera House, so we're back there again. Uh, our opening night film is Armageddon Time, which is James Gray's new film, uh, starring Anthony Hopkins, mm -hmm. Anne Hathaway, and Jeremy Strong from Succession. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's going to be a great one to kick off the festival. Then uh, our centerpiece film is Empire of Light, which is a uh, Sam Mendes' new film, really an ode to cinema and the traditional sort of cinema tech. So it's really a beautiful film starring a Olivia Coleman. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have our big night, which will be uh, a documentary called Loudmouth, which is about the life and um, career of Reverend Al Sharpton. Mm -hmm. And our closing night film is uh, Sarah Pauly's new film, which is Women Talking. And this is a star-studded cast, one of the best films I've seen all year. So I think it's going to be a really wonderful way to close out the festival. That's incredible. That yeah. sounds great already. I think we're all sucked in already. Um, speaking of the red carpet, anyone that said for sure they're going to be out here so we can look forward to seeing them? Oh, you'll Have see we got any confirmations you'll yet? You'll see some updates coming soon, so definitely stay tuned on to that. wait for that. All right, yeah. Kevin, thank you. Let's talk about the other high-profile movies that are going to be part of this festival. Yeah, we've got a lot. So this year we have 15 special presentations, and of those special presentations, uh, a number of them will be at the Denver Botanic Gardens, so really a special venue for a lot of these screenings. Uh, a few to keep a lookout for, The Whale, which was is Samuel Hunter's film. Uh, it was a play that actually started here in Denver. Uh, really incredible film that I think people are going to enjoy. Um, another film from South Korea called Broker, which is getting a ton of buzz on the uh, awards circuit. So definitely something to look out for. The Inspection, another one that I think people are really going to love in this community. So just a few to look out for. Who's included in the Colorado Spotlight? So this year we have seven feature films in the Colorado Spotlight and 12 short films. So I think it's going to be a really wonderful selection. Um, two of the highlights this year, one is The Holly, which is based on the book by Julian Rubenstein. Uh, and follows activist Terrence Roberts, which I think will be an inter very interesting conversation as we kind of get into the election season and a lot that's going on there. Um, another film is called This Is Not Who We Are, uh, which takes place in Boulder and really uh, looks at systematic racism and how we can hopefully change that. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, of that, Disney's recent announcement of a black actress and singer to play Ariel in the um, live action version of The Little Mermaid certainly sparked a huge backlash, had a lot of people talking about it. So what is the Denver Film Festival doing to make sure that it is inclusive and diverse um, as you move forward? Yeah, you know, diversity and inclusion are certainly foundational aspects of the Denver Film Festival in particular and have been for all 45 years uh, since we've been around. This year we're actually showcasing uh, films from 58 different countries. Um, and I think representation now more than ever is so important. You know, when you talk about films from big studios, uh, it's about time for them to be catching up. I think the independent film world has done a better job. There's certainly a lot more work to do, but you know, giving uh, young people out there, especially the opportunity to see themselves on screen is so important, uh, and it's a major part of our festival. Yeah. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for spending a little time with us and walking us through all this. We so appreciate it. Of course, good luck with the festival. The Denver Film Festival runs November 2nd through the 13th, and we've got links for information and tickets for you to buy those at the festival at cbscolorado.com.